Hello, uh, welcome back to another video. Um, in the last video, um, I was I showed um, basically people how to find the gradient of an equation of a line. In this video, we're going to be building on that idea. Except we're going to be I'm going to be showing you how to find the entire equation of a line. So in our last video, we discussed that. Um, oh, we discussed. We discussed gradient and that gradient is the change in y over the change in x. And I showed that this gradient is equal to y2 over y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now this this works no matter what given any two points on a line. x of 1, y of 1, x of 2, y of 2. This works for all linear equations. In last video, I only looked at these types of graphs, y equals mx. In this video, I'm going to be looking at this plus c value. So this plus c value is also known as a y-intercept. Now, what is a y-intercept? Now, if we take a look at a set of axes, there's a particular pattern you'll see with a y-intercept or an x-intercept any intercept pretty much. So let's say we had a linear graph except it didn't go through 0, 0, it went through like up here let's say and it went like that. Oh yeah. So a y-intercept is basically the point at which the line crosses the y-axis. So this is our y-axis here, this entire line here. So basically the rule to find the y-intercept, set x equal to 0. Because the y-axis is also the line when x equals 0. Because this is 0, 0 here. But if you, as you move up this um, up the line y, x is always 0. So it could be this could be the point 0, 4. So to find this point here on a linear y, a linear line, set x equal to 0. Let's say this was the line y equals 2x plus 4. So if you just got given this equation here, y equals 2x plus 4, and they asked for the y-intercept, let x equals 0. So y equals 2 times 0 plus 4. That turns to 0 here. So y equals 4. Therefore, y-intercept is the point zero four. That's basically the premise of a y-intercept. To find the y-intercept, set x equal to zero and you'll find it pretty much. Now, now that you know that and we know how to find the gradient of a line, let's see if we can find the entire equation of any linear line. So let's get rid of that. Oops, didn't mean to rub that out. Let's say that's our 0, 0. That's our y-axis. Let's say we were given this line here, and that goes off forever. It has this. Actually, we won't find that point. Let's just get given two random points. Let's say we have 2 and 4, and we have the point... 0 and 3. Right. Using that information, you can pause the video and find the linear equation of this line. Right, so how are we going to tackle this? So, first off, let's label our points. This is point number 1, and this is point number 2. You could have done it in any order, it doesn't really matter. The point is, is how I label it from now on. So I'm going to move our points over here, and I'm going to start off by finding the gradient. So this is x of 1, and this is y of 1, and this is x of 2 and y of 2. Our gradient is equal to y, y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So I'm going to move that formula down here. And I'm going to rewrite it here. So our x2 is 4, minus our y1, which is 3, divided by x2, which is 2, divided minus x1 is 0. 
So that's going to simplify to 1 over 2. So our gradient is a half. Okay? So filling, oh, filling out this y equals mx plus c, y equals a half times by x plus c. Right. To find our c value, we can sub either this point here or this point here into this equation because we have an x value and a y value for each of them. So I'm going to show you that it works for both points. I'll start off by using this point here. So we have when y equals 3, x equals 0. So I'm going to put this point here into there and this point here into there. So 3 equals a half of 0 plus c, therefore c equals 3. Alright, now I'm going to use our second point here to show you it works for either one. So we have y equals a half times x plus c when x equals 2, y equals 4. So I'm going to put that there and that in there. Sorry if it's a bit messy. So 4 equals a half times by 2 plus c. 4 equals 1 plus c. C equals 3. Doesn't matter which point you choose. And that's how you find the equation of a linear system. So our basic steps is step 1 label your points such as here x of 1 y of 1 find your gradient once you found your gradient plug it into the formula y equals mx plus c then choose either of the points you've used to find the gradient to find the c value and that's pretty much it now I'll be going over another example here so I'm going to change these points now but I'm still going to keep that line there. Let's say we were given the points. Uh, let's go negative one and let's say that's two. And let's go with the points three and five. Right. So this is our point two. Oh, this is our point be gone. Oh. This is our point 2 still. So I'm going to label our points over here. So we have the points negative 1, 2, and we have 3 and 5. So we have x of 1, y of 1, x of 2, y of 2. Step 1, find our gradient. Oh, I've rubbed it out. Oh, y2 minus y1, x2 minus x1. Right, so m is equal to y2, which is 5, minus y1, which is 2, over x of 2, which is 3, minus negative 1. That's going to simplify to 3. That's going to simplify to 4. So our gradient is 3 over 4. So y equals 3 over 4 times x plus c. Now I'm going to use this point here to find my y-intercept. So when x equals negative 1, our y-value we get is 2. So I'm going to put that y up here. So 2 equals 3 over 4 times by negative 1 plus c. The whole thing is going to be negative 3 over 4 plus c equals 2. Going to move that across, plus 3 over 4, plus c. Oh, whoops, I forgot my equal sign. Equal c. 2 is the same as 8 over 4. Because when you go 8 divided by 4, you get 2. So they're equivalent. So we're adding, because uh, we have a, a like denominator now. So 3 plus 8, that's 11. Over 4, therefore c equals 11 over 4. Hence, our equation of our line is 3 over 4 x plus 11 over 4. Alright, thank you. I'll be making up a follow up video to this as well.